Well, actually, I mean, that's a great question, and it, it points to the, um, the April event and the event um, in the fall, yet to be scheduled. Um, because um, both those events and the intent of the center is to connect with the community at large. So um, one way to connect would be at the April event, let's just say, to have some sort of display of postcards over time or the role that postcards played. Um, uh, so for instance, uh, there's something called the field service postcard that was used in World War One, particularly, especially in Britain, um, that's filled out for you. And it says basically, dear mom or dad, I am fill in the blank, which is a place. Um, um, uh, and I'm feeling fill in the blank. And the reason that the uh, field service postcard was created was so that word could be sent home by soldiers, typically soldiers who were seriously injured and who might not have the wherewithal, physical or emotional, uh, to do much writing, but at least through the help of somebody else, could basically fill in the blanks and tick off some boxes. That's pretty interesting. Most people don't know very much about it. When you talk about a postcard in that kind of context, what happens is that people start talking about their family members. They start talking about their experience with postcards. So you generate a completely different kind of conversation simply by focusing on a simple kind of postcard. So what we might do is have something of a display. What we might do is have something of a, a record book that would be like a guest book. Um, think B and B, where people would write down something about their experience with a postcard, or maybe we would supply postcards where people would complete them and mail them back to us, or they would mail them to somebody else. People often have postcards buried someplace. They might want to contribute to the archive. So um, this is, it would be, it's an unusual, I'm, I'm, I'm moving from the subjunctive to the indicative mood here, it would be, it is, um, it's an unusual exercise in the sense that not only is it everyday writing, but it's everyday creation. So the assumption isn't that we know and they shall receive. The assumption is that we all have some experience and that working together we can begin to document what that experience has been like and what difference, if any, it has made and what the constraints were. Um, which that's in some ways I think maybe the best kind of research because it brings us all together in not only common cause but in something that creates a legacy so that 30 years from now when someone says, oh gosh, this is, this is an interesting postcard, I wonder, I wonder what the history of postcards is. They actually have a place to go to, to find the answer, to contribute to the answer, um, and to be part of raising additional questions as well.